Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session we are going to see the different uh, storage like block level storage, file level storage and object level storage. So let's try to understand what is the block level storage, what is the file storage and what is the object storage. So Amazon provides all three type of storage with its services. Uh, S3 is uh, object level storage, elastic block storage is names uh, says that block storage and elastic file systems. So it store it gives the file storage. So block storage is what is block storage is uh, it store the data with uh, uh, splitting the data in equal is in equal in block level so it split your data in equal pieces you can see the example of in a parking slot there is fixed size of uh, space for parking and you have to store your uh, you have to park your vehicle in this particular space so in block level storage row volume of storage are created and each block can be controlled as an individual and address these blocks are controlled by the server based on operating system and each blo block can be individually formatted with the required file system okay so the next one is file storage okay so parking garage you can see the example it it suggests that the, it's saving your data in hierarchical model and it replace with your path so basically it works as a, your network attached storage so you might be aware about the NAS system so it works as a attachment of your network storage okay this storage technology is most commonly used for the storing the system which found in your hardware hard drive NAS system and the file level storage is configured with the protocol of NFS network file system okay so we'll discuss the detail for uh, file system and the next level is the object storage object storage uh, it's give um, that you uh, you storing your data with the naming the object and um, for example it's a valid parking you know the your number of parking and the person who will park your um, vehicle in specific location but you don't aware about the which location it's park but you know the object so once you are retrieve it you have to retrieve with your object name so it's a object level storage amazon provides all three type of storage let's go and discuss in deep okay so the first one is the s3 simple storage service okay it's a object based storage this is safe amazon uh, says a safe place to store your file based on uh, object but in object level storage you cannot store your os and database and for os database there is a block storage is the best option uh, s3 is best used for write once and read many times so uh, this is the base use case for your essay because if your you if your use case is like you have to retrieve multiple times your data then s3 is the best option the scalability is provide the scalability based on your uh, data insert but you do not worry about the scalability it support unlimited storage and a file can be the size of one byte to 5 tb so you can store as much as possible and it it will scale based on your uh, operation so you don't worry about your scalability it is give the persistent and high performance in read write data okay and the main thing the cost is as per your uses only okay one more thing is s3 gives the universal namespace your name should be the unique okay let's move uh, next one is the elastic block storage 
so elastic block storage the name suggests it's the block storage and it's like your uh, uh, disk in your cloud so amazon ebs allow you to the create storage volume and attach them to the amazon ec2 instance once the attach you can create a file system on top of the volume run a database or use them in any other way you would use it as a block device amazon ebs volume are replaced in specific availability zone where they are automatically replicated to the protect you from the failure of single component so you can attach your uh, ebs with your ec2 instance you can have uh, the store of your database os multiple ebs device to single ec2 you can attach but you cannot attach ebs to to different instance you can take a snapshot or a volume on your ebs this will store in s3 and snapshot are the point in the time of copy of volume so it says it's it's a restore point if you want to take snapshot for specific configuration you can take and you can keep in somewhere so if in any case failure you can go for your restore point okay so this is the ebs let's move for the efs elastic file system it's a mounted with basically you can uh, files you can it's a nas storage but you can mounted your uh, premises with uh, amazon storage but you have to use the vpn direct connect amazon vpn direct connect you can do it it could be mounted to the multiple ec2 at the same time so it's a sharing storage uh, if single uh, EFS can attach with the multiple uh, EC2 instance or multiple servers, it can scale up to the petabyte, so no need to worry about the scaling. Support the network file system version 4, NFS version 4 protocol. You can pay for the storage you use. The same as S3, based on your use, it will take a charge, so it gives the uh, easiness to for your costing saving can support thousands of concurrent nfs connection data is stored across the multiple availability zone so uh, efs uh, elastic file system is a storage service for amazon elastic compute cloud ec2 uh, amazon efs is easy to use and provide a simple interface that allow you to create and configure file system quickly and easily with amazon efs storage capability is elastic growing and syncing automatically as you add and remove files so your application have the storage they need when they need so friends this is all about your uh, object level storage block level storage and file storage so you can uh, get the detailed deep dive for all three options of uh, uh, Amazon services in this uh, in our same uh, your tutorials. So friends, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe uh, channel, and don't forget to click on bell icon for next upcoming video. Thank you.